Now, third section, minor losses, okay? We dealt with friction in the pipe. Okay, that's one of the causes of pressure loss. The other cause for pressure losses are obviously the different components. I know in your lab you've got to work out the pressure drop across a, a bend in the pipe network, okay? Well, that bend will have a certain loss factor, which we call K, okay? And, uh, and you multiply K by the dynamic pressure to work out the pressure drop across it, what the ideal pressure drop would be. Obviously, um, there'll be other effects happening in that. They may not be ideal bends or that, all that sort of stuff. Your K value might be slightly different, but you use those values, okay, to work out what the pressure drop is. So you could talk about that in your lab report, for example, okay? What the expected value for a 90-degree bend is and what you're actually calculating that to be. So bends, there's a um, specific example. Entrances to pipes, exits to, from pipes, okay? These are all things that have a loss associated with them. Section changes, okay? You've gone from a small pipe to a big pipe, that's going to be a loss associated with that. And conversely, if you go from a big pipe down to a small pipe, that's going to be a pressure loss associated with that. Junctions, you've got two pipes coming into one or one pipe going into two, there's going to be a loss associated with that. Filters, often hydraulic systems will have a filter in to um, get out all the, um, the debris and, dis de um, and uh, contaminants in the system. And valves, obviously valves are one of the big things that uh, we use um, in pipe systems, and they all have a pressure loss associated with them as well. Often that pressure drop <coughs> is desirable. That's why we suck a valve in there, okay, to cause a pressure drop so that uh, we can reduce the pressure of the system. But they have a big loss factor, and they obviously valves generally are variable. They're, not, they're generally not on or off. The tap in your house is not just on or off, okay? You can vary that, vary the, uh, the closure of that valve, and obviously that will change the pressure of the water coming out of the tap. And these values are all contribute to pressure drops, okay? Which means they all have this K factor, this loss factor. And the way you deal with the loss factor is you, um, is you have a, um, a K that's with particular to that um, component. Okay, and when you've got a system with lots of these components in, you just add them all up to determine <coughs> an effective loss factor, this Ke term, okay? Which is the sum of all the K terms. That <coughs> symbol there... This symbol here, sigma, okay, that's the sum of all your K terms, okay? And so your pressure drop due to these components, just due to the components, so this doesn't include friction, is going to be Ke times by the dynamic pressure, okay? The sum of all those terms multiplied by the dynamic pressure. <coughs> and the total pressure drop due to those minor losses and due to those loss factors, okay, is obviously those two added together. And so we've got a pressure drop here, FL upon D times by the dynamic pressure. That's the pressure drop due to friction in the pipe, okay, with F you determine from the Moody chart. So that's one part of the pressure drop. The other part of the pressure drop is going to be due to these components, okay. So say you've got lots of bends in, you've got an entrance, an exit, a valve, say, then they, they form part of the pressure drop that's in here. And this is delta PL, obviously, okay? And notice that the common term between these two things is the dynamic pressure, and so we could take that out of the term, you end up with the delta PL being this term here, okay? So we've got, this is due to friction, this is due to all the components multiplied by the dynamic pressure, okay? And this C here, okay, although you may be dealing with reservoirs, okay, and you've got your, you've neglected your C1 and C2, well, this C here is the velocity in the pipe, okay? So you can't neglect that term. You must make sure that you include that term. And sometimes you may have to re, re, um, determine that term from your area and your flow rate, okay? Sometimes it will give you flow rate and you've got to work it out, okay? But essentially this is fundamental to this part of this course. You've got a friction drop and due to the components, okay? Obviously, if there's no components or we're not giving you any minor losses, then this term drops out, and then it just becomes the friction drop term, okay? So it depends on the problem that we give you. Sometimes there'll be components you've got to deal with. Sometimes um, there won't be. If it says, for example, neglect any minor losses, then obviously Ke equals zero. You don't need to worry about it, okay? <coughs> 